and we are recording. Hey, what's, what's up? Hey, hey, hold on. Let me let me start. Let me start. Okay. Why the fuck should we let you start? Hey, 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 hey. Let me do. Hey, it. hey, let me do it. Hey, it's for horses. Let, let me do it. <laughs> let me do it. My bosses. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Forecast. Um, this is your boy. Here's Johnny. Vaughn Tichi Hikari. This is A's. If you wonder why, and y'all gonna get it. No, oh, that Christmas oh, nigga. Boy. Nigga, you what? Oh, <laughs> oh you fucked it all up. This is why we. Oh. <laughs> 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 we hey, say it after. hey man. Well, cool. That's cool with me. Cause fuck. <laughs> Your boy Jimmy White is talking always incessantly in talking. That and shit was on this shit popped. Only say your name. Don't say anything me. else. Hey, hey, fuck you. Once the get out, <laughs> God, we your name only. We're about to kick him out the podcast already. In case you did it out, Noel the Christmas nigga has decided to grace us with his presence this week. So uh, we instead of a forecast, we got us a five cast going. That's right. We five cast. We, we expand. Oh, we doing better in 2012. That's what I'm talking about. Pentcast, right? Wait, what? A, a what? A pentacast, right? Pentacast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, that, that's a exactly five-sided that. cast, right? Yeah, bro. I see what you did there. A pentacast, man. I uh, I used to uh, date a chick that was pentacastal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys are mispronouncing the word. That probably didn't go well, did it? Nah, that didn't really go well. She's kind of kind of uptight there, you know. But uh, no. Nah. Welcome again to another episode of Forecast. Even though there's five people, we're still going to call the Forecast. It just sounds a little bit better. The only requirement that I ask is that you show up for some good conversation and you bring a topic. That's all I ask. So I hope everybody has a topic. Hot, motherfucker. Can, can I leave then? <laughs> Weak Jimmy motherfucking Wayne. Wait, I'm here strictly to... as a commentator tonight. All right. I got a topic for y'all, but I ain't in good enough condition to discuss it this week. Because you know me, I try to lay some knowledge on these fucking folks. Right, right. They educate you. That's right. You get a little bit of entertainment and you learn a little something when Jimmy motherfucking Wayne is in the podcast. Damn, oh, skiffy motherfuckers, but I ain't got it like that tonight, niggas, so... We gonna Is see it? what the fuck happened. We gonna see what the fuck happened. Well, let's see. Maybe the internet will give me some inspiration for something mediocre in the meantime. <laughs> well, I, so then well, Jimmy's just gonna be leaking us a bunch of images. <laughs> well, while Jimmy Wayne gathers his thoughts, uh, does anybody else want to get the ball rolling with this topic? Uh, I don't really want to read at least the topic I have. I like to show a video because the topic is kind of disgusting. Ooh, I can't wait to hear it. No, you got my attention. <laughs> Pitchy got my attention, man. What you got, man? Uh, this one goes too far. No, it, it can't wait, go. Wait, wait, what? It goes, it's too far. Yeah. Too far for us. For, for us? You know, I guess not, though. I was about to say, have you met us? talking to? I'm trying to drop it down, like, dog. Have, have y'all watched the Kingdom Wars? Let's play. <laughs> wait, wait. Have to bring the that one nigga, we, we was in them. Shit. Are you talking about the new one or the one? Oh, wait, did you edit the new uh, one? No, we no, 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 no. You haven't edited it? Not yet. Okay. I have, uh, anyway, Tenchi, what you got for us, dog? Drop it. Um, We're wasting time. Time is money. Right. Yeah, business for business. Uh, I, I gotta check out what Jimmy just posted. I'm a fan of number four. Huh? Hold wait, on, I'm hold on. on. Let me check this see. out before we go on. Wait, what is this? What are y'all posting? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Wow. I I concur with Jimmy. That is pretty hilarious. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Give us a topic, dog. We're wasting time. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna post it right quick. Well, let's do it, man. Let's get this going. Man. Well, don't I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's just hilarious. <laughs> oh, Boba Fett. The fuck, really? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. uh, for the audience at home that cannot see what Tenshi just posted, I'm just going to read you the headline. This is this is just the headline for this article. What the Cook, fuck? Exactly. No, let me, let me, let me, let me reveal it. Cook squid inseminates woman's tongue, cheek, and gums. I'll say that one more time in case you didn't hear it. Cooked Fuck it right. Inseminates woman's tongue, cheek, and gums. <laughs> this woman... She she went to go order some calamari, and she got a little bit of ink with her calamari. You know what I'm saying? She got a little bit of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she got a little bit more than ink, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow, oh, man. Got some special let, sauce. Let me for get a hold of this motherfucker. He got hold some on. special sauce for her squid, man. <laughs> what the fuck? A 63-year-old. She's three year old. <laughs> and you're never too old to get it from a squid, man. <laughs> Car- well, just yeah. like AIDS, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, 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 this is cr- <laughs> all right. This is, this is transcendent AIDS territory. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rian woman experienced severe pain in her oral cavity immediately after eating a portion of parboiled squid, along with its internal organs. She spat out the food in her mouth, but still had a pricking foreign body sensation in her oral cavity. That <laughs> sounds like a good night. <laughs> no. A good night? God damn. That sounds like a bad <laughs> night, nigga. It's horrible. Oh, Korean woman, man. She might want to feel some foreign bodies in her oral cavity, all right? You don't know how to get down to Korea. I do not like that. Anyway, when she went to the hospital, they removed a dozen small, white, spindle-shaped, bug-like organisms stuck in the mucous membrane of the tongue, cheek, and gingiva. Yes, the dead squid sperma- spermatophores were still active, and they inseminated the woman's mouth. That's right. You can fry me, you can cook me, you can batter me, but I will still jizz in your mouth. That's what squid. <laughs> what the hell? That is the, apparently the new rule of calamari. So, you know what? You can fry me, you can cook me, but you're going to eat a cum shot anyway. I'm still busting your mouth. I'm, I'm not eating uh, calamari ever again. I never ate shit to begin with. Wow, man, that's crazy. Her mouth is in. Her mouth has herpes now, man. Technically, yeah. Her mouth, her mouth is sexually active. The rest of her hasn't been sexually active for probably the past forty-five fucking years. But her oh. mouth is sexually. Damn, active. motherfucker! How do you know that? <laughs> you know what? I'm spitballing. I'm ballparking. All right. Maybe, maybe they have sex into the early, into the late years in Korea. I don't know. Fucking, I, I've never been to Korea. I don't know too many Korean bitches. But imagine that shit for a second. Imagine you go to a restaurant, you order your favorite calamari dish. You know, it comes out just like you like it. And as soon as you bite into it, you realize that something is amiss. Something's a little bit off. My mouth starts hurting. Ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah. I'm <laughs> loving you all in your mouth. <laughs> Oh my gosh! She, said she never done it. She said she never tried. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Apparently, not wait. She never tried again. any sort of semen or just squid semen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to keep up, there, Ace. Okay. You know what? <laughs> uh, wow! Can you imagine? Oh, for it. She she must have sued the fuck out of that restaurant, man. She she <laughs> she cleaned up, man. After she cleaned out her mouth, that is. You know, <laughs> she probably need to clean up more than her mouth after that shit. Cleaned up, you know, literally, and the towel that she wiped off with afterwards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did she you, take her ass to the hospital? Yeah, they had to take the take her to the hospital because apparently squid semen. Did you not read the article? Yeah, apparently I just read it now. Okay. Uh, apparently, fuck? squid semen looks like bugs, and it'll dig and bury into you and shit, man. It's like, you know. The rest of the squid is long, so it stands to reason that the sperm will be long. So it's like, you know, having a fucking needle digging into you. Needle dig? Oh. No, not needle dig. No, we're not talking about you right now, AIDS. Oh, <laughs> dude, no. It's wow. not true. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck? Shut up, Noel. Why the <laughs> well, actually, I don't know, and I don't want to. Ooh, California some, something. I don't know what, what I want to call you. That is Tell crazy. AIDS, huh? Wow, man, you know. She ended up more than she bargained for, man. I mean, sometimes when you want sushi, you might have to take a cum shot in the mouth, but I don't think that's what they meant. You know, I don't think that's what. I mean, you know, sometimes you got to take one for the team, but that's that's taking a little bit too far, you know. Mm-hmm. That's taking 10 for the team, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be a hard one to talk to. See, how did you find out about this, man? I'm about um, to see. I just went to Fark and was like, let me find something. And then that, that title caught my eye. I was like, oh, my God. That title will catch anybody's eye. That is Farked up, man. I don't know. I found something else that's pretty messed up, too. Go on. You're on a roll, Tenchi. I can't wait to see this. Oh, Lord. Why I got... No. Yes, Tenchi brought it up. Don't bring it up. You went on the semen tangent. Go ahead. Finish it. <sighs> All right. I don't like going on the semen tangent. That's not a tangent. I'm like, you know, I don't appreciate that tangent. Yeah. Oh, he, he's the one that brought it. The mouth of a child. You know what? I don't want to hear about children. <laughs> he's fucking my, the mouth of a child is a terrible thing to behold. 
not if you Michael Jackson. Damn. Uh, uh, is, oh. is it too soon? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah a little bit, a little bit. No huh? <laughs> you no, sure you've been like, dead long? just been like how long? Two or three years now? Yeah, something like that. So I, I don't know how long he's been dead. I just know the nigga did Thriller in his prime. Right. <laughs> That's all I really care about. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my kids away from Mike. Fucking right. I keep my kids away from him too, even post death. You know, that motherfucker's still nasty. Jimmy ain't gonna <laughs> let them near his grave. Hey, Walking no, in that grave. You cannot go visit the King of Pop at his grave site, son. <laughs> he might try to ghost rape you. <laughs> <laughs> ghost rape you. That's right, man. Okay. So, 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 so I'm guessing instead of weeby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, what? No. Actually, no, I don't really care about the story as much. You know, the headline is okay. FG, but nah, I really, nah, not really. It's, much, just a, that it's, shit. it's just a picture. The picture is interesting, but uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't really, but I mean, it's, it's whatever. I just saw, I just saw from Atheist, man. You know, this shit doesn't impress me. Okay, uh, I don't know. I don't think you saw the think, Alien well, prequel. I did see the Alien prequel. I, I saw I the Alien it. prequel. It's not a prequel. I ain't seen the Alien prequel. It dude. is a prequel. It's not a prequel it is a, so much as a, a completely unrelated story that happens to take place in the same universe before the first Alien movie. All right. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't really set up or explain shit leading up to the Alien movie. You can't watch this and then go watch Alien and get what happened. It don't work that way. It just. It just happens to take place in the same universe. Um. Actually, I wouldn't agree with that. I. I I think it was a, a pretty good prequel. I mean, it's made by Ripley Scott. I mean, R- Ripley Scott. You know, I mean, yep, that's, that's we, don't have, we don't have the time nor the energy to sit there and break down all the logical faults in what you just said. So we'll just go ahead and move on. What you mean? The, what you mean the, the, the logical faults? It, it actually made sense when you watched yeah, the movie. I, I don't mind going into it. It made <laughs> sense, but it didn't work as a prequel. You cannot it, watch this movie and then understand. And the, and, and the director, director said that from the beginning. So. It's a thirty-year like semi, somewhat prequel, semi, somewhat. Prequel. Okay, see now you use a qualifier. See, it's a semi, somewhat <laughs> kind of sort of in a roundabout way when you close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not a prequel. Okay, just just let it go. It's not a prequel. It's a somewhat, you know, it's one, one fourth of a prequel. <laughs> I didn't say it was a bad film. I didn't say it didn't make sense. I just said it didn't work as a prequel. <laughs> Yeah, Noelle. but in, come on, uh, Noel, say something. Say something, Noel. Yeah, nigga, say something now. Say something now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, say something. That's what I thought. Who was, who was beeping like that? I don't know. It's my phone being stupid. Sorry. Uh, man, take that shit somewhere else. Dude's retarded ass phone. Being dumb. Man, why did you send us? Who's seen? Who's watched? Uh, I mean, who's played? He's Left keeping the women in the kitchen since eighteen twenty. That shit was kind of messed up. That's fucked actually. up for real. Okay, is this your topic, Noel? No, it's not, that's not my topic. Okay, well, what's your topic then, dog? You have the floor. Okay, my topic is how is everybody's love life doing? <laughs> Nigga, that's always a goddamn topic. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> worry about your old dick, son. Don't worry about ours. Yeah. I haven't talked to y'all in a little while. You know what? I mean, this this only to be put on a podcast though. I'd rather not really share share my per- too many personal. Ain't no, ain't goddamn you know business. What I'm agreed, agreed, Jimmy. Lee. Yeah, yeah. Good topic. You have. Yeah, a- I like y'all. <laughs> I try. Y'all okay. Know what I do on my own time is my fucking business. How is your love life going, nigga? Why do you need to know? You'll never be involved with it, so why you even care? Okay, I, I hope I don't be involved video. in that shit. I, I, that's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> Not a word. You, you the one that brought it up. Exactly. Bro. I mean, you, you, that's a little suspect that you've asked me that question. You know, I'm just asking for for some input on on y'all. That's what I'm doing. That's sad. I mean, he's like you you're asking for. Man, you man, my life is always well, good. Nigga. Okay, okay then. Okay, you know what? I, I'll start off then. Okay. I met a chick. Okay, well, let's talk about your love life, motherfucker. I met a chick on the internet. She's really cool. Okay. And she turned out to have a dick, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> happens all the time. Happens to the best of us, dog. She has a vagina, man. Sorry. <laughs> Are you sorry that she has a vagina? I'm sure, vagina. I'm sure you could find somebody with a dick on the internet, man. I mean, you don't have to be uh, sorry. Uh, why would I find somebody with a dick? Because you, apparently you sorry she has a vagina, you know? Your obsession, man, to find somebody with a dick? No, I'm saying it seems to be your obsession, dude. You know, I'm just... <laughs> 
Wait, who's obsessed with dick? I'm so confused. The hell said that? Like, seriously, I'm a little lost right now. I was like, well, you don't want to say she has a vagina. I'm sorry. You know, I'm like, I would actually appreciate the fact that she had a vagina. Noel, please elaborate more about the chick before Johnny goes off on talking about your chick having a dick. <laughs> well, we know she has a vagina, so, and a pulse, apparently. I, you know, I'm, I'm taking that, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that. Is she a you, you assuming that second one is good. <laughs> You know what? what is she is she actually alive? You know, is her heart beating? <laughs> She's alive, man. She's alive, man. She has a vagina. All right, man. You two for two. Continue. Wow, Johnny. <laughs> We're like talking. Uh, uh-huh. Stuff going down. Uh huh. She, she likes talking. Laying a sewer system down. Saying that. Oh, you're laying a sewer system down, man? You would like it in the back door, you nasty motherfucker. <laughs> uh, uh, that's what I'm saying, man. That's, the, that's what I associate with sewage. And pipe, laying down a sewer system, kind of the same thing. So you're laying down your pipe in their sewer system, is what you're saying. <laughs> uh, that's what he just said. That's what's I'm laying on. a sewer system. Huh? I'm laying a sewer system. Think about it for a second. I'm saying, so you putting your pipe in I think he thought about it. We, 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 we done thought about it, nigga. We done came up with what we got. <laughs> yes. So you laying your pipe in her sewage, basically. That's what you. That's what you're doing. Her pipe. Wait, she has a pipe? I thought you said she didn't have a dick. Pipe. <laughs> 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 Wait. <laughs> Wait, no, uh, your mic's breaking up, man. Uh, talk a little bit closer to your screen. Mics have pipes have holes in them. They not. Pipes have holes in them. Yes, that's true. Holes, holes in them. Holes like holes. Like holes, like like that Disney movie holes. Or are you talking about like uh like holes? Let's just talk about holes. Like 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 I got yeah, I got holes in different areas. Holes, 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 or <laughs> maybe something like that. Right. Okay. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that she's cool. I like hanging out with her. Uh-huh. Online dating actually kind of works a little bit sometimes. When it wants to work. See, once again, you've taken what was at first an actual statement, and then you've used so many adjectives <laughs> qualifiers that it no longer works as a statement. You've taken a clear <laughs> statement and made it much weaker. Like, yeah, online dating works sometimes, kind of, sort of, if you, you know, you stick to it a couple. If you do what you're supposed to do, but don't do what you're supposed to do. And in the meantime, get what you're looking for and not get what you're not looking for. So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to lie? Sometimes. That's all I'm saying. You're supposed to lie sometimes? Sometimes it works. What lying? Online dating sometimes works. Nigga, if oh. thing works sometimes, you could walk up and slap five random bitches in the face with your dick. And then one of them might like it. It might work sometimes, but most of the time it doesn't. Nigga. Uh yeah, but isn't that the point? So give it a shot, right? Uh oh, I forgot. That's right. You to try it out, nigga. Where am I gonna have an opportunity to slap five bitches with a dick? <laughs> Uh, you could never, kill, maybe. Yeah, you ain't got enough happen. dick to slap nobody with. Wait, what did Jimmy say? I agree, Jimmy. Yeah, you'll never have that opportunity because you don't have enough dick to slap somebody with. Oh, come on. Just, I, got, I can run. <laughs> you can start, jump up, you know, hop on a ladder or something. <laughs> I'm sure I That's can improvise. Slap him with the dick. 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 Put it in the mouth. Put it in the mouth. Don't run, bitch. <laughs> Blind, bitch. Blind, bitch. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. Get over here. Be like Scorpion with that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it- well, no, well. So you okay, met- so. You met her online. Yeah. Cool. Uh-huh. Was there a point to this story? I'm just telling you that if somebody's having issues with meeting women, if y'all do, if y'all want to give it a shot, give it a shot. Oh, the well's the love doctor. No, I'm not a love doctor. I'm just saying it works. All I'm saying. Okay, so that's just like a doctor. It's like, I ain't a doctor. That shit just works. <laughs> for, for anybody for any ladies in the audience listening to the podcast right now, he's not saying, you know, he's saying that online dating works. And if you'd like to find out for yourself, you can, you know, look at his profile on uh, www.brokeniggaslookingforlove.com. You know, that's not how it works. Broke niggas looking for love. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Oh God! Oh man! Well, Jonathan, John, there's a website for you. It's called Johnny. It's called. Hey, I'm all right this <laughs> time. Study <laughs> dot niggas. <laughs> niggas that work in a in a store with a name why, after why, a, why, why are you? It's niggas that work in a store with what now? I want to hear what he said. <laughs> First niggas that work at a store named after a weekday dot com. 
First of all, you used to work there yourself while you talking. Second, how did that? Yeah, what's your point? Was that supposed to insult me? And I, I, yeah, I, I, secondly, it was. was. I told you, it, it's, I, it's if that was, that was an shit. insult. That was a weak insult. If that I, was, I thought he was, was just no trying. I'm I just thought confused. he was just. I'm not really insulted. I'm just. I know. I'm not. I don't even see how it's supposed to be insulted. Though it's supposed to be funny. Like that's the point of it. It wasn't that either. You know. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I, it was just a statement. Yeah. A statement. Then fine. Oh my Thank goodness! You. Would somebody like to save the podcast for the topic, please? Save the shit, please. Yes, yeah, please. Hey, Jimmy, I want to know Jimmy about. I, wanna, I like that, wait, Jimmy. Your father. Wait, I was about to, about to know about this chick. Did she have like a personality? Yeah, <laughs> she, she had a personality. She had a vagina. She had a personality. She included, nigga. It's really nice. She had, cool. she, oh, look, she had a vagina and a pulse. That's already more than Noel usually gets. So I think asking for personality is too much. Uh, nigga, I could, I could retort, but I won't. I won't. Oh, by all means, go back. How the fuck you gonna hold back on the podcast? Uh, I won't, nigga. So wait, is this one black? Because I thought you were opposed to dating black women. Oh, 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 yeah, she, uh, she, see, but she, she, she certainly got some D's, man. That's right. Else, nah, I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna. I think he's got that. 35 minutes. All right. Just saying, man. F's, D's, H's, what? Once again, we're not gonna try to bring my personal life into this podcast. We're not gonna really go. That's why. That's why I wasn't going. That's why I stopped talking. I was I'm just, just like, saying. Oh, I mean, I'm I just stopped question. talking right there. I was like, yeah, oh, man. yeah. Okay, well, we'll talk about this after we're done recording. But uh, okay. AIDS, grace us with a topic, good sir. Grace you with a topic. Yes. Save our podcast because apparently some of us don't know how this shit works. Well, uh, <coughs> I got randomly called, so hey. Wait, what? Excuse I got me? randomly called. So you got, it's, it's okay. It's okay? I'm glad you're cool with it, dog. <laughs> wait, 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 are y'all still arguing? When are, like when are we not? Will you motherfuckers get over yourselves and keep it moving? We're trying to keep it moving. We're waiting for Ace to give us a topic. It's a freight train. Nigga, it's here, okay. start your fucking research for my topic. All right. All right. Oh, uh, Jimmy Wayne has <laughs> so, got this topic. I'm about to say, so Jimmy, Jimmy finally interjected in this motherfucker. He's been interjecting. This is a 15 minute video. Let's get the Cliff Note version. <laughs> Ain't the Cliff Note version, nigga. It's the whole video. I said start the research. Okay. You can watch that in the background and talk about what? other shit. All right, A's. Topic, please. Topic. Well, have you guys checked out the new Tomb Raider? I have not. Is well, good or what? I. Well. Well. I, okay. I, was well, to listen to this. I can't talk and listen I, to this video at the I, same time. Well, fuck it. Stop it then. <laughs> I tried. I failed. You have the power. Yeah. Nigga, you no. fail at life. <laughs> I feel that I don't have the brain capacity. It's just to do common this. knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. totally. Anyway, it seems like they're trying to really revamp the whole Lara Croft franchise in general. It kind of, it, it look, basically looks like they took, like, what, what the hell's that game? Um, the hell's that game? Drake's fortune. What the hell is that game? Super Smash Brothers. Uncharted. No, no. I am alive, huh? It will be the show. Better no, alive. I am alive. God of War. <laughs> how many, sh- how many game shoutouts am I gonna get, motherfucker? Guitar Hero Three. Rock Band. Am I close? Uh. <laughs> no. Pokemon Silver. Tetris. Oh, what's that dude who's always falling around on jumping on vehicles and shit? That new game that's always being. Oh yeah, the, nigga, the one with the vehicles, right? The one where you can hop in and drive around and stuff. No, you don't hop in and drive around. You just jump on shit. It's just breaking. And you're always climbing up. It's like fucking Indiana Jones, but not. Incredible Hulk. Oh, no, that was the first game I said. Started, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, Is it uncharted? uncharted, you silly stuff. Yes. Yes, it's Uncharted. <laughs> so they're giving that treatment to Tomb Raider? That's what it looks like to me. It reminds me of Uncharted a lot. Well, However, Laura Croft is hotter than the dude in Uncharted, so I'll probably <laughs> make that better. 
<laughs> Apparently, they have like a. Does she still have polygonal tits, or tits still look like pyramids? No, like actually, here's the scene. Like this is what I was gonna show you right here. Boobs. No, that's what she looks like now. She looks like boobs. She looks like boobs. Less boobs. What? It did shrink. What the hell? I'm less interested <laughs> in this game already. I like the way she looks, Interesting motherfucker. Fun fact. What's that? The reason Lara Croft's boobs were that big in the original Tomb Raider was because one of the design guys convinced his buddy to blow him up for the prototype. And they just never undid it. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. <laughs> it's like, damn, look at those. Those, uh, those they, became wide, they, they became widely accepted boobs. Those point, pointy, jagged, sharp <laughs> daggers <laughs> attached to her chest. Daggers. But those conical dag- daggers, yes. Oh, man. Can we no, say daggers on a podcast? We can say daggers hey. on a podcast. Okay. Hey, to be honest with you, like, uh, it, it looks like a good game, but I don't like the fact that it's getting pushed back to next year. That's kind of stupid. Wait. Anyway. There's, there's any, attempted rape scene? Anyway, I, yes. Well, this is what I was trying to talk about. What? Apparently, she has a pet. They're trying to give her a more in-depth uh, past. To I guess you know to make her character more in depth, I guess, and, and adds yeah. depth more than rape, right? Yeah. So that's what I was gonna ask of like, because I feel like personally they could come up with a more creative route than having to give her a rape scene. Like, there's actually video footage if you check it out right below it. Oh, there's video own. of this attempted rape. Video footage. Oh, I can't wait to see Laura Croft attempt to get raped. Animated rape scene, right? And oh God, that's... of course. This is... What is it? You knew gonna better. Take... You knew better when you came in the room with that shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, that certainly looks Animated like animated rape thing. Wow. That's anyway, I was just bringing this up because I thought. Oh, personally. okay. So it's over now. You guys, okay. I was wondering if you guys agreed that they could come up with a more creative history for this chick besides having her I, have a rape. Yes, scene. I think that there could be much more creativity. I think that a lot of uh, writers, especially writers who are trying to be edgy, they uh they they, they it's it's a cheap plot device to add attempt to add depth to something that doesn't have depth if you're gonna use rape as a tool as a writing tool then you damn sure better hope you do it well because there are so many other ways if you're a bad writer and the only way you can think of to add depth to your character is to have somebody attempt to rape them don't you know that's just a good rule of thumb because mm-hmm. I guarantee you, that's not going to make your character more relatable in a lot of way, and in a lot of what time situations. It's going to turn off a lot of people from trying to relate to your character. Yeah, it's just going to alienate your audience, man. I mean, damn, I just that didn't look all that bad. Apparently, she shot the dude. You know, for anybody. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Because the, the rape looks, it wasn't even like a full fledged rape scene, anyway. Attempted rape. I would hope not, motherfucker. They they, they probably want to get this out with at least like a. EB14 rating, you know, so I assume they didn't go all the way and have him, like, you know, throw her on the ground and shit, and the only way she, uh, actually, you know what, I'm not even gonna go into detail on that, just, uh, forget I was even, forget that sentence just started, because because <laughs> <laughs> that could've got real nasty. Yeah, I was about to extrapolate on that, then I realized where the fuck I was, it's like, okay, you know what, just, just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reel that back in. But no, I think, uh, hack writers do that, and I think it happens a in a lot of movies, uh, the most prominent example I can think of was Showgirls, because mm-hmm. it happened in Showgirls, and it did nothing for the plot, it did nothing for the movie, and the dude that raped the girl in that movie didn't even need to rape her because she would have fucked him willingly. You know, yeah. he was a rock star, and he just gets off raping chicks, and it happens for no reason. It's really, it's barely touched on again in the movie. That character is gone after that happens. That character. You know, show, Showgirls had a story. Well, I know, no. I know it gets buried behind really. boobs, but but you know, one thing that Showgirls did have was uh, the, the one of the best lines in any movie. You know, everybody had AIDS and shit. Marcellus Wise looked like a bitch. Well, that is the best line in any movie ever. But <laughs> but no. Uh, everybody had A's and shit. Everybody had A's and shit. <laughs> uh, that is my that's favorite line. line. That's my favorite line. And the... Sorry. Yeah, you are sorry. <laughs> yeah. They bring you, you nigga. But no, I mean, the, to give you context on that line, to try to make sense of it, even though it doesn't make any sense, the... He, this... Oh, there's a problem with this call. Hmm? Are you here, Tenchi? Yeah. Are you here, Noel? 
Yeah, I'm here. Are you here, AIDS? Oh, it's the problem oh. with AIDS. Hey, Jimmy Wayne, you here? Maybe. Who wants to know? Anyway, we will continue. We will press on without AIDS then. We try to push here without AIDS, but uh, you know everybody everybody had AIDS and shit. But this ain't podcast. that gonna kill enough niggas? <laughs> everybody had AIDS and shit except for this podcast. Oh, <laughs> I'm back. He's back. Everybody had. Oh, oh shit, we done caught no. it again. Everybody again. Turn the window. I didn't say motherfuckers to just start blurting random shit because I just, you know, announced my return. But <laughs> days and shit. Ah. But anyway, no. Nah. God damn it. Anyway, I was going to show you another trailer just so you can get a feel for the no, game. I don't want another trailer. I think, uh, you know, attempted rape. I'm, I'm really already turned off to this game. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Won't touch it. <laughs> yeah. Ten foot rape dick. <laughs> Ten foot rape dick. <laughs> oh man, but what was I talking about showgirls? All right, yeah, that's right. Uh, everybody had A's and shit. He was describing how good a dancer this chick was. That is why he said this line. Yeah, that's how. Because I w- everybody, wait, what? Oh, that was the line. She was, she was like, "You really think I'm a good dancer, man, girl?" Everybody was looking at you in the club. Everybody had A's and shit. That's that's how he fucking described how good of a dancer she was. <laughs> I'm a good dancer, man, girl. Everybody had A's and shit. Yeah, that that was his way of convincing her. Caught it. <laughs> Everybody had A's and shit. Yeah, both of those. <laughs> mm. All righty. Well, we're gonna go ahead and move forward once again because Johnny brought a topic for everybody. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not an avid reader of TMZ.com. At all, but, but but I saw something on Google that caught my eye. Now uh, I'm sure all of you remember what went down before with uh, between Chris Brown and Rihanna. Yeah. No. You you don't know what happened with Chris Brown and Rihanna? Well, Chris Brown uh, apparently got pissed off at Rihanna and he put his hands on her and like they showed the pictures. This was all circulating around the line of her face all messed up. We don't know what she said. Wait, to nigga, him, are we talking like four years ago? Yeah, yeah. This happened a while back. God. Yeah. Why the hell should I remember that? But apparently, I ain't fucking Rihanna. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But no, keep going, nigga. You don't pay no attention to me. But apparently, Chris Brown and Rihanna have uh, since, since made up. She apologized. Oh, no, she didn't apologize. He apologized to her. I'm about to say she apologized. She apologized for getting <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for getting that ass whooped so badly. Damn. I'm sorry you had to punch me in the face, baby. It wasn't even much your fault. I was. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds yeah, like she, Ike she, and she, Tina. No, no. Tina was whooping Ike's ass. Did you re- have you seen how buff Tina was back in the day? I think Tina Ike was defending himself, man. Tina looked like a fucking linebacker. <laughs> Tina had some broad ass shoulders, some big ass muscles. I think Tina was on some fucking uh, what was that movie with Jennifer Lopez where she beat the dude's ass? Oh, uh, 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 Revenge on Unstoppable, something on un- Breaks, un- whatever that un- movie was called. Yeah, it was like Unstoppable or something. But no, I mean, yeah, she was on some uh, Unstoppable shit. She was like, you know, like I hit slapped her one time in an argument or something. And then she's like, you know, never again. I can't let this happen again. She's like started doing push-ups and shit. Started doing bench pressing, taking Tybo classes. Because Tina's legs was big as a motherfucker back in the day. Tina's legs are still big. She could kick the fuck out of something, man. She'll just kick your legs out from under you, dog. I I just think Ike was trying to defend himself. I mean, I feel like she was just bringing it to him every night. Yeah, remember the time you slapped me? Boom! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, she just whoa, <laughs> just doing the fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Yeah. Chris Brown and Rihanna have publicly made up. They even did a a duet together or some kind of, you know, they did a musical performance together at the Grammys. So they have made up. But uh, apparently now Rihanna and Drake are dating, and Drake is not cool with the way Chris Brown did his old lady. Uh-huh. So I was reading or I was reading TMZ, and uh, <laughs> you were reading TMZ. Oh my god, That's a miracle, nigga! Oh, yeah. I just found that to be a hilarious. I got nigga. Hey, 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 what? Hey, I got struck just by like lightning. I found that nigga wow. for I, I got struck by lightning while I was wearing a pink glove. Read the TMZ, huh? Hey, 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 
Hey, I got stuck by lighting a wild one or pink frog. God damn. First off, <laughs> first off, it's Jimmy motherfucking Wayne to you. N- no other nigga. Jimmy, Jimmy motherfucking Wayne. I got struck by lightning. No, nope. I was wearing a. Oh yeah. Well, nigga. Anyway, you cri- you win a fresh bastard. Anyway. A fresh bastard. What? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Anything? <laughs> Nothing at all. But no. Apparently, Chris Brown and Drake were in the same club, and they they had words, and uh, Drake. Flashed the middle finger at Chris Brown and then drafted several other rappers to join his posse. Let me drop this link on you. Scroll down to like the second or third story. That doesn't sound like Drake. I'm kind of surprised at yes, that. Yes, it does. <laughs> you sound like a nigga. <laughs> don't, don't, Just well, don't, fool, don't let him fool you, pimp. Don't let the grassy background fool you, man. Yeah, I know he was with was, Chair Jimmy, but my motherfucker. I was just going to say, I was just going to say black guy from Canada, but. Same thing, you know. I mean, the nigga, nigga, in Canada too. Nigga, nigga, guess what? It, it's cold in Canada. I, I can understand what, why he's pissed off. It's cold up there. This, this is what rap beef has devolved to. It's, there's no longer no piggy, Biggie and Pac shit. Now it's Drake versus Chris Brown. This is how low rap has gotten as an art form. You know, nobody has street cred in rap. Justin Bieber is a rapper now. Yeah, no. Yeah. He yeah, he really raps. Dude, honestly, hey, 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 baby. Anyway, what? Hey, uh, hey, 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 y'all, bleed or not? Uh, it was a, uh, um, you know that 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 Chris Brown song, "Look at Me Now." No. Oh yeah, with Busta Rhymes. Yeah. Uh, you mean that Busta Rhymes song? Bleed or not? I listen. Pretty to much. A, yeah. I listened to a, a Justin a Justin Bieber verse. That that shit sounded good. I was like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber did the fuck verse. Is Justin dude? Bieber. <laughs> Wait, dude, I'm serious. Get, get the fuck off the podcast. I, about, I said I think Noel's <laughs> riding on on Bieber nuts for real. I'm not riding on Bieber nuts, dude. Okay. I, I was like, First wow, off, that, the that's Bieber's that's nuts off. haven't dropped yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> did he make Did he make a song about that? <laughs> yeah, that's the, you know Justin Bieber made a song about puberty, you know. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but no, apparently the way this altercation altercation got started, I say altercation. Sorry, Freudian slip. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Drake gave the middle finger to one of Chris Brown's bodyguards and shouted, "I'm about to whoop that ass." <laughs> <laughs> Drake gave body really? nobody ass. That's what Drake said. Then Drake went on to say, "You be on that whole shit on Twitter, nigga." <laughs> Them niggas got Twitter beef. They got Twitter beef. A clear reference to the recent Twitter war between Chris Drake and Meek Mill, another rapper in Drake's posse, all over who's banging Rihanna. Fucking right. This is like some Jerry Springer shit that took place. <laughs> so really, this is what happens. This is how rap beef goes down in 2012. Nigga, you be. I heard what you said typed on Twitter, my nigga. That's some whole. You use 140 characters. <laughs> I read every single one. You about to whoop that ass, my nigga. You be on that whole shit on Twitter. You know what? I'm gonna get on Facebook, man. I'm gonna clown, the, clown you right the fuck back. <laughs> Need more than 120 characters, my nigga. That's right. 140 <laughs> characters worth the shit to say about your ass. Bitch, I don't even need five characters to say what I think about your dumb ass. <laughs> I like the last line of this article. Interestingly, everyone agrees Drake never got physically involved in the brawl. <laughs> even, he did. He did. <laughs> even though his mouth, his finger, and his fingers sparked it all. But Drake's like, I'm about to whoop that ass. Hey, hey, dog, Big Tony, go get him. You know, that's, not- <laughs> that's, that's pretty much how it went down. You be on that whole shit, and I'm about to whoop your ass. As soon as my body, hey, hey, are not hey Craig, go get him. <laughs> you see me go get him. You go get him, nigga. Didn't you say, nigga? This is your fight. Uh, I, I ain't, ain't gonna lie, I do that. But uh, then, if you scroll down a little bit further down, down TMZ, two more stories down, you see Chris Brown's bodyguard, massive head wound in nightclub brawl, all because <laughs> Drake, Drake clowned Chris Brown on some whole shit. Did he say it on Twitter? This big motherfucker, this dude looks like he's got to be pushing at least 240. This dude's got a big gash in his head and he was wheeled to the emergency room over some bullshit that he didn't even start. And Drake's no short guy either. Drake's like my height. Man, that nigga was on the grassy. Fuck wheelchair, Jim. Please, nigga. I stomp Drake. Any one of us in this podcast minus A's will stomp Drake. 
<laughs> Drake, nigga, you got beef? Hit me no at Tango way. Bravo really? 86, son. So, so Noel's gonna stomp Drake. Uh, it's a fifty. Now you're right. You're right. They probably, you know, they'll probably be a, a draw or something. You know, <laughs> Noel, no Noel will start doing a kangaroo hop, and Drake won't know what to do about that. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that video still on Facebook now that I think about it? I don't think so, man. I think, I think we lost that video, oh, dude. Oh, man. man. I think I got it somewhere. I need to post that. But if you scroll down a bit further, they, there's more. I like how I keep scrolling down and find spike, Sparkle Brawl. Chris Brown fight, flying bottle cracks, innocent girl's head open. Not only did it involve a completely uninvolved bodyguard who was only doing his job and sent him to the emergency room. An innocent girl who just happened to be in the same club was hit with a flying bottle because of the brawl that ensued because of the whole shit that Chris Brown said on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so, Drake flipped Chris Brown off. That poor girl, she was a victim of, <laughs> of Twitter brawl. Two people have been... Nigga, you gotta be with the room. Twitter wars, nigga. Them shits get violent. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you better stay clear. Oh, shit. Twitter is the devil. And if you scroll down one more time... <laughs> Wait, curious. which what's the title of the articles, dude? Okay, the first article is entitled. You ain't reading them. Drake I am. People spark brawl with Chris Brown. I know. I read and, that. Uh, one, just that kept one made me laugh. I kept Chris scrolling. Brown's Trust. bodyguard, massive head wound in nightclub brawl. This is the same oh, fight, that, nigga. That, 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 and final oh, blow, cracks oh, oh, of the head open. Shit. Yeah, this all oh, happened like the same. And this brawl out at Drake brawl. I thought these were all different topics. The oh, I didn't this, even realize all these injured all, motherfuckers were part of the same issue. This is all one event. This all happened this as one event, nigga. God, Just keep dog, rolling. That, that dude with the gash in his head looks really fucking Exactly. Up. I know. That's his bodyguard. He ended up in the emergency room. This girl in the next story, emergency room. Big gash in the head. Got hit with a flying bottle. Drake's ass is fine. Drake, Drake, is, nothing yeah, happened. Drake, Drake, yeah, Drake has totally, you know, been involved with this. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you scroll down one more time, you see Drake. Drake, I didn't beat up Chris. Well, no shit, nigga. We didn't say you did. Nobody suspected you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that you clarification. Know, I, I ain't got a whole lot of faith in Chris <laughs> Brown neither. But I think he can handle Drake. I think Chris Brown and Drake would turn into a fucking slap fight. These <laughs> 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 motherfuckers would be like fucking, you know, they'd they be shooting rock, paper, scissors. But uh, no, Drake oh, is. Oh, Shambo! Jake, Drake is at. They, no, I think what would happen is they pull out themselves and start typing some shit on Twitter for real. It's like, they about that, yeah, Twitter war, bro, Twitter war breaks out in the club. I don't appreciate that whole shit you said on Twitter, so I'm about to re- respond. I'm about to blast back. You know, these motherfuckers be <laughs> tweeting each other, the fuck out of each other, man, in the club. But, uh, no. Man, I'm done with Twitter. I'm gonna be using software that you even wrap your head around yet, motherfucker. That's right. I'm on that Google Plus now, my nigga. What? <laughs> you want <on> what? <laughs> that, that's that, exactly. That's, exactly. That's, that's, that's the right shit, response man. Jimmy gave. <laughs> but Drake is adamant. He is not responsible for the bloody g- gash on Chris Brown's face, claiming he was simply leaving the nightclub when the b- brawl broke out. Despite uh-huh. right eyewitness reports from several st- several sources that tell us the fight started after Chris Brown and a rapper at Drake's table started trash talking each other, and then Drake came in and c- called Chris Brown on that whole shit he be pulling on Twitter. You not fucking Rihanna, nigga. I'm fucking Rihanna. And then the dude at uh, Drake's table was like, Nah, nigga, I'm fucking Rihanna. Maybe they all fucking Rihanna. You know, I don't know. I don't know, man. Rihanna liked the party, so they probably all are fucking Rihanna. And if you scroll down two more stories, you can see the gash on Chris Brown's face. He's got a little nick on his chin. Wait. Wait, what is this? What the hell? So, and if you if you look at the picture on that Chris Brown story at the bottom, Chris Brown injured in bar fight with Drake's entourage, you can see the aftermath in the club. They fucked this club up. I don't know how many people were involved or how much security was involved, but... Drake is completely unharmed after this kind of a scrap, which tells me that nigga ran as soon as this shit started going down like this. That's what that tells me. That nigga was ghost. Man, I'm I, think, I think he was ghost. Chris, Chris, Chris Brown. And Drake was just gone, man. Drake Drake must have been tweeting about this as it was happening. As it was happening, nigga. Fuck it. Okay. That shit was transpiring. He was I'm gonna like, ask I everybody in the podcast a question. I don't know how many of y'all have actually been in a physical altercation before, but um, 
how little does your involvement have to be for you to tweet about things that are happening in a brawl as they happen? How far, as they are happening? How far? Nigga, you ain't the one in the fight. Exactly. But, well, he might have been, man. It's only like 18 characters each, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I can see that shit. You know, you, you got you got your iPhone out with one hand, you beat the niggas ass with the other hand. Boom! I just caught him with the right. I just caught him with the right again. Right hook. Did, did, Chris, did, did Chris get hurt? <laughs> yeah, Chris Brown has a little nick on the side of his face. You can see like like he like he nicked himself shaving. That's. I'm sorry, you're breaking up really bad, so I can barely understand you. I'm saying Chris Brown has a little nick on the side of his chin. You know, uh, like like he cut himself shaving. Oh, poor Chris. Oh, right. I mean. Uh, I mean, oh. it, it's it's almost as bad as Rihanna's face looked after he beat her ass, you know. This white chick who got injured, man, she looked like she's just like, why the fuck, man? Exactly. <laughs> in the club, she just shouldn't have been clubbing in hot spots, bitch. <laughs> That's fucked up. Man. You know, shit, niggas be having Twitter wars and shit. <laughs> Things get dangerous. Shit get real. Shit gets real. Everybody got AIDS and shit. Huh? <laughs> who in the fuck talked the chair? <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, this was a nigga moment. This was a Twitter nigga moment. This was that new type of nigga moment that happens on on the internet. Only Boondocks and Boondocks had one more season. They could have completely extrapolated on this. <laughs> this is a, exactly the type of shit you might you would think that this shit did happen on Boondocks as ridiculous as it, got. as it sounds. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah bo- I just I, I just had to hear you guys' thoughts on that. I'm just looking at the bodyguard. That's what bad for him the most. He looks the most fucked up from this whole incident. Yeah. But well, he was the one in the fight because obviously Chris Drake was fucking sending tweets out. It's <laughs> 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 a damn shame, man. <laughs> was blasting back on his uh his mobile device, you know. Yeah, don't believe that whole shit that Drake said on his Twitter. Nah, just listen to my fucking Twitter, dog. I'm fucking Rihanna, you know? and and then Meek Mills, whoever the fuck that is, was like, nah, nigga, I'm fucking y'all both wrong. I'm fucking Rihanna. Meanwhile, Rihanna is getting fucked in in the bathroom somewhere at the same party by some other nigga. By you know? some other dude. <laughs> Maybe Rihanna just the hoe. Maybe that's really what it's about. You know? Damn, Rihanna. You just need to stay clear from these dudes <laughs> causing all kinds of shit hey, that hey, uh, hey, escalate. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Is, it me or is, forces, it, nigga. is it me or is it that there are like 30,000 women that, that'll fuck either one of them why are they messing with Rihanna? Because she's fucking Rihanna. Have you seen Rihanna? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, uh, hey, 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 I guarantee you there are about 10 women that look way better than, than she does. Oh, I'm sure there yeah, are, nigga, yeah, but still. Yeah. If, you, if you break it down on the world's population, yeah, I'm sure there are at least 10 that look better than Rihanna. But guess what? They don't have Rihanna Bank. They don't have Rihanna Money. They don't have Rihanna Prestige. You cannot tell your boys you fucking Rihanna. You don't need to, like, tell them that shit. I mean, I, I don't think it's even necessary. Like, seriously. You do need to tell them that shit. If I was fucking Rihanna, everybody... If, if, if I was fucking Rihanna, you bless you, I would tell everybody. Everybody would fucking know I'm fucking Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna couldn't get rid of that. Have been the topic of all four segments of this fucking podcast tonight. <laughs> Hell, if I was fucking Rihanna, everybody could be fucking Rihanna. I would still be fucking Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got a video. I got a video. Really, right? You know. well, I mean, well, I thought Tenchi was about to pull up a video about Rihanna getting fucked or something. <laughs> you know, so, well, I got you want that video if you got that video, Tenchi? Because <laughs> I think that's a video I need to see. Damn it, well, I can't, I can't, I can't read the title of this, so I'll just watch it. What the fuck? Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the fuck did I just watch? What the fuck did she just say? <laughs> That bitch was speaking speaking the speed of light. What the hell? That what she said, man. I bet nigga. Eh. <laughs> that is so ignorant. Oh my god. Niggas, man. I know. We we start bar fights over Twitter. We fucking snatch mics from news reporters and fucking say that we that nigga. I I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When you pause the scene where she's like getting knocked over, that's pretty funny. <laughs> well, yeah, because she looks bad. Like go back she, to that like point. like she looks like she's about to collapse for real though. She's like ah, <laughs> this is terrible. That's the hangover. If, <laughs> if you want to see the video we're talking about, just go to YouTube and type "I am that nigga." <laughs> I, I like I like <laughs> I like how they completely uh, switch topics right after they <laughs> had that dude come in there. That's exactly like, nope. what happened on a live newscast if somebody came and snatched the mic from a reporter. Uh, fuck, put something else on. Shit. Really? Yes. I'm that nigga. Really? 
<laughs> I am that nigga. That's like that reminds me of those fucking uh, I am an American commercials that happened right after September 11th. I am that nigga. I am that nigga. Like just they should have that commercial with like a bunch of people of different ethnicities. I have an age I'm group. That nigga. I am the nigga. You know, just have a fucking Russian dude. Uh, I can't do a Russian accent, but you get what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> nigga. I am nigga. <laughs> so you can't do an accent either, but that's what I'm saying. You know, so <laughs> just uh, just oh, imagine. I'll- I finally just looked at this excuse that Jimmy just posted a little while ago. Yeah, I don't care. That's old news, man. It's old news? Old news. All right. Fine. Shit. Huh? Anyway. So, have we have we covered everybody's topic? What have we learned in tonight's podcast? We've learned that uh, if you... I'm that nigga, man. We've 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 learned. Jimmy Wayne is that dick. We learned that if you get calamari, you might want to check it for uh, special sauce. Oh God. <laughs> we've learned that, learned that. We've learned that internet dating works sometimes if you apply it right and you know play the odds right. And every once in a while, you know, you 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 deal with like four or five bad dates. Sometimes it might work occasionally. You know, if you uh, you know what I'm saying if you have a profile and you play the field and you have like different dating sites and whatever, it works sometimes. We've uh, we've also learned that um, Laura Croft uh, apparently almost got raped, <laughs> and uh, I, I think we, I think we've learned that rape is not a good usually the yeah, best yeah, route. It's not a, it's not a good plot device, and we, no. And we've also learned that if you say shit on Twitter, that shit might come back to bite you in the ass. Oh, so don't think? talk shit on Twitter. If you, you don't say. Wait, but what about this uh, video that? Jimmy sent us. Oh, Are yeah, we going to discuss your homework? That's right. We 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 we'll talk about it next time. We've also okay. And well, we, I'm going to watch this then. And we've also learned that I'm that nigga. Eh. Uh, <laughs> you don't. All right, motherfuckers. Next time. Yeah. So uh, once again, this is your boy. Here's Johnny. Vaughn Tichy Kari hanging in there. You you hanging? You you all right, man? Just say the thing. <laughs> Play things so niggas go home. See you fucking outro, man. A's, if you wonder why, it's because you're gonna get it. Noel, that Christmas nigga. Ah, eh, obviously can't count. Noel, that Christmas nigga. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jimmy's is going to be the last one for now. Signing off. All right, catch y'all next time. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah.